Hey, welcome back. Woodley here. We're on site for the pouring of the walls of our custom stick-built home with a walkout basement and step wall foundation. The goal of this video today is to share with you some key elements for the building process in the foundation. If you're an owner like myself, you like to learn about what's happening um, on site and you like to have some kind of self-education and information. So when you show up, you sound, uh, you have some information, you understand what some of the elements are, and you just like learning. You're not doing it necessarily to call into question uh, the contractors that you're working with, but just so you can have a little more meaningful conversation because you've demonstrated that you've put in, uh, you know, the desire and intention to learn. So we're going to talk about four questions that you might have on site about how things work um, in setting up a poured foundation wall. So on the outside here, you've got We've got bracing, and the bracing is actually here to hold this thing straight so that the line is straight. And you'll notice here we got a string line along the outside, and the purpose of this string line is to help keep that straight. So what these guys can do is they can measure off of that string line to verify that the outside is straight, and then if any adjustments need to be made, the adjustments can be made with the bracing out here on the outside. Then we don't have the bracing on the inside because the way it works is the ties inside hold the wall together. So the weight of the concrete will push that interior wall out to the equal, the equal depth. And then you only have to adjust any outside bracing to keep it to that point there. So pretty cool system to see uh, how the bracing functions. But if you had something that had was just a wood formed wall, we'd have obviously this would have a lot more bracing to it. But these steel forms uh, are able to be done with quite a bit less bracing. Now, if your kids are with you on site, they're going to ask this question What's the red thing? And this is a sprayer for the form oil, which is a product that's going to go on the forms and helps the concrete not stick to the forms. Apparently this form oil actually is designed in such a way where it doesn't stick to the rebar, which I believe is kind of an upgrade in the technology for it. Now another question you might have is what is it that the rebar does down in here? I'm down on the stem wall. We actually see this little spacer that we have down here. That spacer is gonna function for where the floor will come up, so it's just gonna leave a little gap in this lower wall. But what you have going on here in your rebar schedule, and what you can do is, um, you know, you're gonna have your drawings, your engineer or architect is gonna spec out um, how much you should have in there. But what the rebar is doing is it's giving what's called uh, tension strength. So concrete has really good compressive strength. That means when the load is on the top of it, it holds really well, but it doesn't have good ten tensile strength, which is the pressure coming from both sides. So by adding the rebar in both vertically, horizontally, and then from the footer, we're doing a few things. One, we're tying it into the footer, and then we're also adding the tension strength to it so that as as we backfill in over on this side we're able to hold it itself in place so if the bracing isn't holding it together what is holding it together and that's what you see up here on the top and now those go all the way down through those ties that we have here and it's the ties which actually serve to hold the forms together again not the bracing now these forms are also kind of screwed in down here in the bottom that's to hold it in place to keep that line straight but really all the work is done from those ties that are in the center of that wall so that gives you a little introduction to some of the elements that you're going to see on the uh, on the poor site uh, I'm up here right now on my lunch break. We're pouring uh, later this afternoon, so try to come back and get a little footage of that for you. That's always fun to uh, see, but um, big day, an important day, and uh, nice to know what's happening. Let me know if there are other things that you uh, think people should be aware of in this process, little details with that. Um, we're gonna talk in a future video about um, water management and areas that are, are really important with that but that that's uh 
that deserves its own own special one so thanks for checking in appreciate you following along you know what to do we'll see you next time